today we'll be building this 80 amp hour recycled battery pack made from used laptop cells that'll be used to power this 245 12 volt water snake trolling motor I reckon I'll need 12 4 by 5 cell holders in order to make two of these a spot one and some cells they are all 2700 milliamp hours or around about that they are NCR 18650 cells and they all come from these packs which is AL10D56 laptop battery packs so each one of these has been charged to 4.2 volts with the IMAX BCAC version 2 charger with the exception to these two here which I'm doing just in case I've got some bad cells uh, they have been rested now for approximately 30 days now I'll go through and actually test every single cell and see if any of the cells have self-discharged before I start building the pack. After resting the cells we've finished voltage testing them and they all come out to in between 4.14 volts and 4.16 volts I'm really happy with that result except for one we got 4.08 volts on that one so that one makes its home into the recycle bin Basically the way I'm sorting these out is we've got uh, 2737 just there we're looking for. So basically I chop the two first two numbers off and I just worry about the 37 at the beginning. Then I swap around and go 73. So basically all that I'm doing is running through looking for a 7 and it's a 7 1 so that's not it. Uh, 7 7 7 7 7 7 3 So I'm, ju I'm, just, I'm just looking at the last digit looking for sevens two seven seven three so there we go we've got twenty seven three seven we found the right cell so backwards to forward seems to work best for me There we go, our 30S4P trolling motor battery is all built nice and balanced, as balanced as we can possibly make it. Now we've got to add the, the cell holders at the top. That was a lot easier than expected. Now we have to grab some nickel, cut it up, so we can make the bus bars.
there we go all done very happy i put that cardboard on there really does make it a lot better to actually work with and feel a lot safer so if you're ever doing this cover up the bits that you've already done so you don't short it out amp BMS is installed and of course that is from eBay so it's probably 25 amps negatives got to come from here down to the bottom of the pack there and I'll run positive from up there getting most of the soldering done and the BMS on I placed my hand on top of the BMS only to notice it was a bit warm quickly unplugging it thinking that I'd actually done the wiring or something wrong I grabbed the multimeter out and um, from the negative to the positive we had 16.6 .6 volts but from the output the P minus on the BMS we only had 1.1 volts so after that I started panicking thinking that I'd actually put it together wrong or something like that only to work out that I'd actually bought a 3.3 volt LiFePo 4 battery BMS rather than for 18650s at um, 3.7 volt nominal. So new plan moving forward, I'm going to use the IMAX and I'm going to actually just use the balance leads on that, wire in the balancer and then make some charge leads up for it and we can just charge and when we charge it we can just do the balancing there, we won't have the balancer on there anymore. Bit of a waste of time but hit the rewind button, let's do this again. Well done, saved you the pain of another time lapse. All that we've done is negative and positive and then the balance leads, led them all over onto the charger and we're done. Nice and simple. I've just done the negative up to the top rather than the bottom. I know it's probably better drawing it from the bottom than the top but it's going to do for the load it's on and then the positive comes to this side. So it is all working very very well. We have got it all nice and balanced, fully charged up. This battery will be used to power a water snake with a T245 with 24 pounds of thrust and it is a 12 volt unit and of course this fully charged will be 16.8 volts. So my brother has built a PWM controller uh, to regulate the amount of power going from the battery to the water snake and all that we're going to do to run this is got to unplug it here and then unplug the balance leads, take that away, got battery, blue is positive, then plug the water snake in, plug the water snake in. And turn it on. 